Hi all, you are watching Simulink tutorial and today we are going to see how to bring C code in MATLAB environment using MATLAB function block. Earlier in S function tutorial, we implemented that using S function block and some basic commands. So today we are going to use MATLAB function block. It's easier and involves less steps. So let's get started. So I am using two repeating sequence steps block that is data1 and data2 which will provide input to the MATLAB function block. Then let's check the header and source file for the C code. So, okay, so this is a header file that is add underscore lib dot h. So it has the declaration of the function. So the function name is add underscore 2 and input arguments which are a and b. So that will be data 1 and data 2 respectively. Then the source file. So hash include the header file then the actual function body that is add underscore 2 which is a function name then input arguments a and b and in the function body c so c is equal to a plus b so c will be the output of our function so c is written so the output c which we will observe on the scope okay then let's go back to the model now all you have to do is call the function from the MATLAB function block. So double click on the MATLAB function block. So the .m file for the MATLAB function block will open. So write a code to call the function. So my function name is add underscore 2 and the m file function name is call underscore test underscore hr. So Every time we simulate the model, it will execute call underscore test underscore hr, which will call the add underscore to function. Okay, then the x is a local variable which is initialized to 0, and then it is equal to the output of the function that is add underscore 2, which is the addition of u1 and u2, that is data 1 and data 2 addition. And to call the C function, we use the function coder.ceval. Okay, so the format is prepare your model and call your function using coder.ceval in MATLAB function block. Then go back to the model in configuration parameter. Go to simulation target in header file add the header file name that is add underscore lib dot h and additional build information add source file that is main dot c okay and save your changes so since i am using the repeating sequence stress block the solver is discrete and fixed step so simulate this model and let's go to the command window so in the current folder you can see the newly generated call underscore test underscore hr underscore s function so when you simulate your model the s function for the c code gets generated okay let's check the output so the input data was just one two three four five so the addition of two data is successfully obtained so we are getting the desired output so one more thing that the precaution that you have to take while doing this is that be careful with the names of the files and functions because a latest mistake and it keeps throwing an error so that's all for this video if you want to check out the video of s function then click on the link in the description below and if you want to check out the video of how to write function using m script then that link is also available in the description so give this video a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning